Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we are going to be playing with the Little Mermaid palette again. Yes, we have Ariel's palette to play with again today. I have already done a full dedicated video to this collection. I tested out the palette, I tested out the lip gloss and the highlighter, but you guys did want me to do another look using this palette. So I thought, you know what, let's do another look. Let's bring it back out. Let's use it again. Let's do another look. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to stop rambling and we're just going to get straight into this palette. This is what the palette looks like if you haven't seen it before. Again, if you have not, not seen like my full review, the full collection, I'll link it in the cards in the description box down below. But yeah, this is what she looks like. So I'm just going to quickly zoom you guys in and prime my lids and then we will jump into the palette. Okay, so I've literally just primed using the Beauty Bay Eye Base. Been loving this at the minute, it's been like my go-to base, so yeah. I'm going to take, I don't know whether to take Sebastian or Mermaid. I think we're gonna take Sebastian, which is this shade here. Honestly, it kinda of looks a bit like ready, but I think it's definitely more like a ready pinky kind of shade, I think, I wanna say. Sebastian is obviously a red. Is he a lobster? Is that a lobster? Is he a lobster? I don't even know what he is. He's a Jamaican crab. I don't know why I thought he was a lobster. <laughs> This is a nice like shade, it's definitely more like ready. I don't know what to blend this out with, I'm feeling like the pinks, like the more pinky tone kind of shades. In my last look I did like a purpley green kind of look. Then I'd use like a blue all over the lid. I think I did use this shade in the first look, but I don't think I used it that much. I think I just used it like a little bit. Um, so obviously I couldn't tell exactly. What was going on? Now, do I take a little bit of mermaid? Or do I just go into flounder? Like, flounder could be quite cute. Because I kind of want to take the shade Adela, this green, like, on the lid. But I don't know whether to take flounder or, like, mermaid than Eric. I'm feeling more towards flounder. I'm gonna take the shade flounder, um, just because I do a lot of like pink look. So I'm gonna take this yellow mustardy shade here. I have used this before. I used it to blend out seaweed, and that was beautiful. So yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna go back into Sebastian, just trying to like build this up and almost like blend it into the yellow shade. Just very like lightly. We obviously want that gradient 
and it's looking a bit harsh at the minute so hopefully this will just help to blend them a little bit more then I'm just going to go back into to flounder Beautiful. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead, I'm just going to cut my crease off camera and then we're going to be back and we'll do a lid shade. I'm really feeling Adela, which is this green. I hope it kind of goes. I feel like it will. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead, cut my crease and then we'll be back to do the lid shade. Okay guys, so I'm back. Of course, just cut my crease. They look pretty even today. Like, usually this one's a little bit lower this is more of like my hooded eye but yeah here we are so i want to take the shade adela i think yeah we're gonna take it we're gonna take this green shade here um a green shimmer shade i'm gonna just put that all over the lid let's just see how it builds up it's actually quite a pretty shade isn't it I'm also going to take the shade Patina, which is this silver, this silver, this red shiver shade here. And I'm just going to put that next to, like in between the red matte and the green. Just to see if that helps blend it in. It's a bit darker than that, like the Sebastian shade, just by a little bit, but... actually really pretty I actually really like this the shimmer isn't as like foiled as the one that I used in the first the first look um which was this aquata shade like this this aquata shade is like one of the prettiest blue shades it is gorgeous but it's just super foiled that is like I think that's like the only super foiled super foiled like shade in the palette every other like shimmer in here is just like a normal shimmer which is it's completely fine don't get me wrong right i don't know whether to use dingle hopper on the inner corner it's got a bit of like a blue reflex in it do we just use it you know what we're gonna use it we're gonna take the shade dingle hopper which is this like icy white blue shade. It doesn't look like it's got a bit of blue in it, but it does, which I didn't realize until I tested it out in the last video. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to the inner corner. Let's just see. It's got like the teeniest amount of blue in it. Like you can barely tell. Like I think it shows more blue when you're wearing like blue purpley shades, but yeah. Look how blinding that is. How gorgeous. I like this. I like it. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to go off camera. I'm going to do my, my, the rest of my eyes, my base, everything. I'm not going to use the shades, like the, the face palette shades from... What? I'm not going to use the face shades from the palette um, because I'm using something else. I'm doing a different video. Um, but I already know that I love these shades and I can get away with the all the blusher shades and the highlighter shade if you want to see these shades in action I didn't do it in my first video so yeah um so I'm just gonna go ahead quickly do that and then we'll be back to like round up the look so yeah I'll be right back okay guys I am back this is the finished look what do you guys think um on my bottom lashes I literally just well my lash line should I say I just use the same like red and yellow kind of shade so second time round using this palette what do i think honestly i really like it this look is very different to the first look that i did which i'm glad because the first look obviously was quite colorful it was like a purple 
greeny kind of look. I'll put a photo on the screen here just so you can compare. Um, but again, I really like the look. Um, the shades that I used again, super pigmented, blended out beautifully. Um, I only used two mattes in this palette, guys. I literally used Sebastian and Flounder. Um, so if you were wanting to use Sebastian and Flounder, definitely do it because it's going to give you that beautiful red to orange to yellow like eye, which is really gorgeous. Um, I really like it. Really like it. And um, I love the shade Adela as well. I think that this shade is gorgeous on the lid. Like, look at it. It is beautiful. It's not as like foiled as what the book the Aqua Aquata Aquata shade is, but it is still gorgeous. Um, yeah, and obviously I used Dingle Hopper as well on the inner corner and it is gorgeous, love it. Um, so yes, I really hope you enjoyed today's video guys. If you want me to do another look using this palette, or maybe you want me to do another look using one of the other Disney Prince palettes, please let me know, I will definitely do it for you guys. But I just wanted to do something a little bit different with this palette, because obviously there's a lot of like, um, purpley, pinky kind of shades in here. Um... And obviously I did go quite purple last time, so I didn't want to do like a purple look again. I wanted to do something different and I'm glad that I've created this kind of look. I feel like I've done it before. I probably have like, I love my colourful shades. Um, But yeah, I really like, like this whole look. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video guys. If you did, please remember to get a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it would really help me out. Everything else I'm wearing on my face, I will link in the description box down below in case you guys are interested. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!